In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use is a on Roblox so that you can check to see if an object is a specific class name or a specific object type. So let's get started. Welcome back to another video, my name is Alvin Blocks and if it's your first time on my channel then please do consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on when I upload future videos. So in this video we're going to be looking at something called is a and what this does is it allows you to check if an object is of a specific type. So for example if you had um, a, a model and you wanted to check whether all of its uh, descendants, everything inside of that model, were parts, then you can use isA to check uh, whether they, they are a certain object. So let's get started by inserting a script into the workspace. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a couple of parts into the workspace. Okay, now that we've done that, let's just group them together in a model. And let's go back to our script. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to just quickly create a for loop which is going to loop through everything in the model and then we're going to check each object to see whether it's a part. So we're going to say for uh, i comma part in pairs, open bracket, close bracket and then inside of these we can say uh, game dot workspace dot model colon get descendants. So what this is going to do, it's going to get every single part inside of this model. And then we can say do. And what's going to happen is it's going to loop over every single part and we can check to see whether it is actually a part. So what we want to say is if part colon is a open bracket, close bracket. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to change this part to object. We're just going to change the name to object and you'll see why in a minute. So let's say if object colon is a open bracket close bracket and inside of here in speech marks we're going to say part then we're going to print the object named and we're going to do a space dot dot object dot name dot dot and then in speech marks we're going to say space is of class and then another space I'm going to do dot dot object uh, and actually we, we can just say part okay so what's happening is we're looping through every single object in this model we're checking to see whether it's a part using is a and remember when, when we're doing is a or is a we are going to have to have a pair of brackets or parentheses uh, and then inside of that we're going to have some speech marks with the object type so how do you know uh, what an object's type is because it's not the name of an object it's its type so if we go into the properties tab over here and we click on a part and we can see here there is a read only property which we can't edit called class name so every object will have its own class name and you see this class name is called part so we know we will know that this is a part if its class name is called part because this part could be called anything it could be called hello but its class name is still a part because it is a part. It's what we've added into the game. If we look at a model, we can see that uh, its class name is a model. Uh, workspace, that's obviously workspace. Um, but let's insert something, let's insert a humanoid. Uh, that will be of class humanoid. No matter what the name is, it's still a humanoid. And it's what's used to identify different parts. So if we want to check through different parts and make sure that they are the correct type, we can use is a okay so what should happen is it should print out the object named part is of class part uh, because the and it should print it out one two three four five times because everything in this model is a part and there are five objects in the in the model so let's go ahead and open up the output and let's go and just clear this and let's run the game and hopefully it should print it out five times and there we go it's printed out the object name part is of class part and you see it's printed it out five times it's just put a, a multiply by five sign just so that it doesn't clog up our output 
So it's checked every single uh, object and it has found that they are all parts. But if, well, let's see, let's, let's uh, imagine that there are some parts, there are some objects in there that aren't actually parts. Let's just say else print the object named dot dot object dot name is not a part. Okay, so else means that if it is not a part, then it's going to print this out saying that the object named and then its object name is not a part. So let's go and add some uh, different objects in. Let's add a force field. Let's add quite a few force fields in here. And let's give them different names. Let's just give them some uh, normal names. Okay, and let's just add in, let's add a truss part. Okay, a truss part is different to a normal part uh, because it looks like this. Okay, it's different to a normal part. And you can see the class name is different. It's truss part instead of part. So the script should have some uh, objects uh, which it won't which won't be uh, normal parts so it should say that there are some parts which are not actual parts and there we go it says the object named it's got the name is not a part let's go have a look in our model yep we can see that that isn't a part because it's a force field uh, so it's printing out these different part names uh, because it's checked to see whether it is a part it's found that the object isn't a part so it is printing uh, its results. So is a is just a way of checking the type of an object. There are lots of different object class names and if you wanted to print, uh, let's say for example print game.workspace.model colon is a and then we can say model. This should print out true because we're checking to see if the part the model which is called model we're checking to see if its class name is actually called model so because it has checked this and it's found out that it's true it's going to print true to the output now let's see if we change this to part it's going to have a look and see whether this model is a part but we know it's not a part because it's actually a model the class name is a model so it's now printed false now you could also do this by just print by just saying print game dot workspace dot model uh, dot class name, okay? And it would print out model. But we use is a uh, because it allows us to uh, just get a true or false value of whether an object is a certain object or not, and then we can use it in if statements, while loops, etc., just to loop through all of our different objects in the game and make sure that they're a specific type. So that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it, found it useful. If you did, please leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already. And this is Alvin Blocks telling you to keep scripting. <laughs>